hello uh, I'm gonna try to video this myself Eric's at work so I'm gonna make some baked pork chops now our youngest son he's wanting some fried breaded pork chops so I'm gonna fix him a few of those but I'm fixing baked ones for the rest of us and it's very simple very easy to do any of y'all can do it and I've got my oven preheated to 425 I've got about seven tablespoons of melted butter. It's gonna go in the bottom of a 10 or a nine by 13 bacon dish. Y'all may not be able to see everything that I'm doing because he's not here to rotate the camera. So but I've got that butter poured all in there. I've got me two eggs and milk. I don't know how much, I didn't measure it, but I've made like a wash for the pork chops. Now, I've got two boxes of cornbread stuffing. It can be any brand you want. Aldi is good and it's cheap. It can be, if you want stove top, then you use stove top, whatever you want to use. So, I'm going to try to do this without getting this hand dirty because I've got to keep one clean. So, I'm going to start dipping these pork chops. We got a big old uh, package of assorted pork chops. So they're all different sizes, different kinds. I'm just going to dip them in this dressing. I'm going to coat it kind of good. Oh, this kitchen's going to be smelling good here in a little bit, I tell you. That one's going in the pan. Get some of these smaller ones in here. And yes, the oven is hot at 425, but it's not gonna take you like an hour to make these things either. So, it's been overcast here in Kentucky all day. Just overcast. I'd like to see a little bit of sunshine today. If you want to crush up your stuff and mix to like real fine crumbs, you can. If you want to just crush some of it and have uh, the other just, you know, normal what it is without crushing it, then that's fine. That's just perfectly all right. Well, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me dip each one of these. So I'm going to get them finished and then I'll be back. I tell you, these pork chops are so big that I had to get out another casserole dish <laughs> and put the other three in it. These things are huge. Like I said, when you buy a package of those assorted chops and those are usually the ones that's on a good sale, you're going to get these big chops in there. But I have confidence in my guys that they'll be able to eat them. <laughs> So I'm going to get these popped in the oven. I'm going to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes on one side. Then I'm going to pull them out and flip them over and cook them for another 10, 15 minutes or until they're done. So I'll be back. Ooh, Ooh I just pulled them pork chops out. And I'm telling y'all, some things look good. They look really good. Oh, got some fried corn to go with them and some greens. Waiting on Eric and our youngest son to get in and we're going to eat. Okay, my sweet Eric's home. He's going to get ready to taste this supper I fixed. All right, let's see here. Let's see what you done did. <laughs> <laughs> Something good. It's good. I'm trying to figure out what's in there, but it's good. I like that. Good. I'm glad y'all could join us while he's taste testing. Hope y'all had a blessed day. Remember, everything will be okay. And we love y'all.